All right, so now we're down to the last part, and we're going to go ahead and do the paraphrasing. And this paraphrasing activity is not quite in the book, and I had some extra notes online and the video demonstration, so hopefully that helped. But I am going to go ahead and just confirm that you know the difference between the different types of paraphrasing. Um, first of all, just remember that each paraphrase, to be correct, needs to use an I statement. Okay? You need to go ahead and restate what you've heard in the correct way. And what I mean by that is either it has to be the content or the intent or the tone, depending upon the type of paraphrase I ask you to do. Okay. Okay, and then finally, the am I correct? So it's always an I statement, a restatement, and then the am I correct, or that we call it perception checking, which kind of gets confusing because we did this with a perception check. So a lot of people will do this activity and revert back to how we did the two possible interpretations before. But this is just an I statement. A restatement in your own words of what you heard okay. based upon the type of paraphrase and then the asking for clarification. Okay. Okay, so if you follow my, my handout once again that I gave you on the assignment, it's exactly the same way. Just change it from the Alexa example and use the one that we're referring to right now. Now, can you re do you remember the difference between content, intent, and tone? Uh, yes. Um... Well, uh, a, pa a paraphrase for content, I believe, would simply be um, a paraphrase of the basic content of the message itself. Mm -hmm. And for intent? Um, for intent, well, it would be a paraphrase of uh, what is the intention of the, the speaker in telling me this. In other words, it may not be so readily obvious the intention of the speaker. It's, um, you must look a little bit more deeply. It's kind of the communication that's occurring between the lines. Excellent. I should videotape you and show this to everybody because that's exactly right. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, and finally, for tone. Uh, for, uh, for tone, a paraphrase for tone would be the, um, the, uh, the, uh, the emotional message of, of, of the of the communication. Um, is it a, a defensive tone? Is it a, a sincere tone? Um, okay. Right. Good. Okay. So let's go ahead and I'm going to keep this real simple. It's going to be just like the perception checking. We could do a longer one, but due to time with only 15 minutes, I'm just going to give you a very brief statement as if you're my roommate. Okay. And sure. so just pretend we're good old college roommates. You have to go back to the class of 84, 85 for okay, me. Okay, well, that's hard, that's hard to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you must be younger than me. And By far. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to go back to the 80s. And you're my roommate. And I'm going to come home and say this. I mean, just going back to the 80s is traumatic. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Did, did you have a mullet? We won't go there. <laughs> I bet you did. All right. So what we're going to do is pretend that you're my roommate. All right. Here I go. And when I, I'll do the same statement, or at least try to be quite similar for all three of these paraphrases. And so each one should be distinct. The first one we'll ask you to do is a paraphrase for content. You ready? Okay. 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 So, oh, gosh, you guys, look at this bathroom. Oh, it's so dirty and gross and... And who did not empty the garbage? And why can't someone just flush the toilet? Yeah, this, I, I'm always washing the bathroom sink. Oh, this is so gross. Okay, content? Well, I would respond that I hear you saying that the bathroom is messy and is that correct? Yeah, yeah. You would just go ahead and say it all together as one, but that's okay. Let's go to the next one. I say the same thing. Oh my gosh, the bathroom it stinks. It's horrible. Look at this. Oh, I wish someone would just. Oh, you didn't even flush. This is disgusting. And I'm always, I'm always washing the sink. What would be a paraphrase for intent? Well, it would be. I am thinking that you really want me to clean up the bathroom. Is 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 that correct? That's right, and you better do it. <laughs> okay. All right. Now the last one. <laughs> so sorry. I'm just joking. The last one is paraphrasing for tone. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so disgusting. Oh, the bathroom. It stinks so bad. Look at this. I wish you guys, if you could only even just flush. And I keep just having to clean this sink like, every day. 
Oh my gosh. Well, paraphrasing for tone, I think, um, you sound to me like you are feeling um, uh, quite upset about uh, the bathroom being messy and it not being cleaned. And maybe even you feel uh, a bit hurt. Is, is that correct? Yes, and you'd be so kind to, to notice that. Well, that's all you got. You got 100%. You did a great job. I'll go ahead and add it to the, the grade book, and I think that I am already having a phone call. So if you do need to have some more clarification with your grade, things, how things are going, I do have office hours, I do appointments, and I've given you guys all my phone numbers. So let me know if there's anything you can do, and, or that I can do for you. And you did great. You're doing a good job. Well, thank you. And let me just add a fourth, uh, a paraphrase for grade. Now, I, I, I understand that um, that I received an A on this assignment. Um, is that a, 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 a correct perception on my part? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. Thank you very much. All right, bye.